Good morning, YouTube. So, with today's video, that we're gonna get higher with Dior Higher. Is this one really gonna get you high? Does it have a cannabis note? And uh, all the Dior fanboys, like, be respectful. This is Dior, man. The history. This set was actually launched in 2001, and it is a classic. Because this is an old fragrance, okay? And it's classed as a woody aromatic. The note breakdown for this one here, top notes are gonna be basil, peach, pear, but also lemon with the meat being cardamom, pepper, rosemary, and cypress, and the base is gonna be musk and cedar or woods. So what do I get from this one here? Now I've been wearing this for like a week, and I this is gonna be like a re-review of a video that unfortunately didn't turn out very well with Rush. I will incorporate his thoughts into this video. Wait, so with this fragrance here, it opens up green, fruity, so peach, pear, fresh. It's aromatic right off the bat. Then as the dry down does proceed, you're still gonna get that fruity nuance. It does simmer down, but it is still there for a good duration of the scent life. But it becomes a little bit more greener with the, like, the rosemary. But also a, a little spicier and definitely more woody. The base is still somewhat woody, but more musky in woods itself. This is definitely has that early 2000s cologne DNA, that, that feel. 2001, it smells like it, but it smells good. I enjoy it. I'm not gonna deny it. I, I enjoy this fragrance, but it's definitely not bringing me on a higher plateau. It's not making me feel higher, feeling good and relaxed. This just makes me feel fresh and clean. It doesn't really add a pep to your step, but it's a good solid scent for the spring, but more so summertime. It's casual, but I do think that it, this can be worn to the office, no problem. It's gonna resonate more with the older guys out there because it's an old fragrance, through plain and simple. All right, and if you're one of those younger guys who likes the more vintage fragrances, then look into this one because I do think that a university student can wear it to school, no problemo. Longevity, I am not sure if this has been reformulated, but I wouldn't be surprised. You're gonna get about six to seven hours at the most and projection is more mild to moderate. You can go a little bit more liberal on the applications, go a little bit more like, you know, you can do like, five, six sprays, and not really worrying about offending anybody. Price tag, now this is where it kinda like takes a hit. It's not bad for a fragrance that's been around for a long time, and I am sure that this has been discontinued. So for the price tag, it might be quite reasonable. But it goes anywhere from 110 to $135 Canadian. So in a way, it's good bang for your buck. It's, it's still a good, it's still worthy of your dollar. But for me, it's just, it's not. That, that longevity is definitely not there. And you are paying for the name. Dior, it doesn't matter. They will put out some great quality fragrances, period. Even if the fragrance does not agree with you, you will agree that Dior doesn't put out any crappy fragrances. But even to your most passionate fragster, fraghead, who loves everything that Dior puts out, but even just that one fragrance, they're more than likely gonna state that there is that Dior quality to it. Rush's thoughts. Rush thought it was green, fruity, and woody. He liked it. He actually enjoyed it quite a bit. And he said it's more of a casual, but also gym scent. When it comes to gym scents, I'm thinking fresh and light. This is fresh, it's light, but it's too heavy for the gym in my opinion. Now, in the end, is this one that I would recommend that you look into? Yeah, especially if you're a collector or if you like something that's more vintage. But I gotta state that this is nothing original, it's nothing new. It does smell of quality, it is Dior. And for me, even if money was not an issue, I myself would not go out and get a bottle. That is just me. I am more than happy with this decant. Green, fresh, fruity, woody, and musky. If you like those types of fragrances, 
Get yourself a D-Kit from FragranceNet.com and you can actually get an actual bottle from there as well, including, I believe, PerfumeOnline.ca. Anyhow, guys, that is my review of Dior Hire. So, with that name, I thought that it was gonna add a little bit extra, you know, and with the name itself, you know, it's like, put a little bit of cannabis to it, but back then, you know, it wasn't really as acceptable, but it is now. Oh God, I smell it like every day, even like when I'm at home. I smell it from the neighbors. Jesus. If you like this very video, leave me one of these. Any other reviews that I've done from this brand, they will all be down in the description box below. I am starting to focus a little bit more on this brand. It's a brand that I've kind of like neglected over my journey, all right? And what videos to watch next? Well, whatever pops up right here. I thank you for time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.